Hundreds of people lined the streets today as a hearse carried Deputy Pickett's body from the hospital to the coroner's office. 24 Hour News 8's Tim McNicholas was there with them, and he's now live at the Boone County Sheriff's Office. Tim, an emotional day for so many people. Yeah, absolutely, Phil. Police are describing not just today, but the last few days as both heartbreaking and heartwarming. The local Menards ran out of blue light bulbs due to so many people wanting to let their support for police shine brightly. This memorial behind me, it's only grown since the procession. The silence outside St. Vincent's Hospital, broken only by the rumble of a hearse carrying Deputy Pickett's body. Boone County Sheriff Mike Nielsen says there are no words for what he's feeling. It was a long drive, but it was an honorable drive. But he did his best after seeing a sea of love for his fallen friend. That gives us the strength and the passion to move forward uh, to this week, which is going to be a very, very tough week for all of us. From 86th and Meridian to 38th and MLK, and finally the Marion County Coroner's Office, a route lined with hugs, tears, and proud people with fond memories, including the first time Nielsen met Pickett for his job interview. As soon as I sat down and talked to him and saw that fire in his eye, and uh, he said that this is what he always wanted to be, was a canine officer, I knew that I probably had one of the best officers that I could ever ask for. A canine officer, a dad, a husband, a giver, even in death. Police Union President Rick Snyder praised Pickett for donating his organs. I think if you look up a definition of hero, that would sum it up. And God bless the Pickett family. There is a common connection today between people who never met Pickett and people who work with them every day. They're all doing their best, when words won't suffice, to thank a hero. That flood of emotions is just so great, it's just hard to explain. And a hearse will take Pickett's body from uh, the coroner's office to a funeral home after the coroner's exam. Police say they don't know yet when exactly that will happen. As soon as we learn, we will relay that information to you. I know a lot of folks are expecting another show of support uh, when that happens for that procession. Live in Boone County, I'm Tim McNicholas, 24 Hour News 8.